Well, it's a beautiful evening. It's June, the summer's here, and I thought, what a way to start the programme off. And I'm sat here in my garden again, so we're on an outside broadcast. Unfortunately, tonight, you've just got me. So, on the programme this week, it's our usual cornucopia of poetry uh, for all you poetry lovers out there. thought it was worth including on the programme so you could listen to it. Now, next up is uh, The Crab by uh, Polly Vargasi, and uh, we've been looking to play this for quite a while, and Ryan Wood's uh, uh, very kindly has voiced over uh, done the reading on this and done the voice over on it so uh, here you go Polly we've been saying we're going to play it for a while uh, here it comes this is a piece written by Polly Borghese and translated by Deeper Chandran Ram this is entitled The Crab the melody breaks in between poems turn lamentless heartbeats upbraid feet are scared of sand granules Cuddles turn dispassionate. Lately, I am turning to an amnesia. I am in the clutches of a crab as an uninvited famine. A creature that walks with piercing nailed claws over my premature dreams. Before it swallows, I need to swim across, augment, to the terminal corner of the world. When its scabrous, churlish fingers force open its scorched doors in my arid stomach, I become an fleshly nakedness in some silent night tide. Ballads in so far as universe, a science solely for you, a fame within a thick jacket, a sea as old as Genesis. You, the song, is the poison goblet ready to be vended in taverns. But did the servant know that you quenched your own hunger? You are above the scintillator of breath, Malady is not too big, being accused of you. This crab is a migrant, diversely though. Seed germinates and trees merge with soil with its shadow. Every moment the voices dug out by sandals follow. Breath cells that exude the phlegm of obsession vociferate thus. Who jailed me? Who sentenced me? What was the offence? When was I betrayed? Without a charge sheet, even without a prey, with no one to endorse, without a legal text for namesake, who pervade the executioner? Though the real convict is the shadow that arranged the gallows in the unknown prison, the historical thoughts simmer another question. How many more crabs left in this world, never tired of leeching, ever breeding and multiplying like a landslide that embrace one after another? How many? Well, I'll tell you something, that was worth waiting for. The Crab by Polly Vargasi, uh, read by Ryan Woods. Brilliant piece, that. Really enjoyed that. Wonderful bit of reading and a great piece of poetry. So thanks very much for doing that. <laughs> 